Mike and Camilla's stories were so tragic, but funny. <laughs> God, you Brits. We've all had a bit of a tough year, and I just thought it would be nice to go on a tour of someone who's had a worse one. It just makes you feel better, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know how you managed to turn that one around. We were so screwed. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> but the look on Frank's face when we got the deal. So good. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, tell me about Coffee Boy. He asked me out on a date. How exciting. Where is he taking you? Apparently, I have to try his signature lobster risotto. Uh, a hot guy who can cook. Mm. <laughs> 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 You could just make it look a little bit more like you just grabbed the last pack in the shop and everyone's staring at you in envy. Yeah, show me. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's good. That's so smug. It's always a joy to work yes, with keep Clara. Keep following me, keep following me, keep following me. The first time I worked with her was a campaign for a hemorrhoid cream. You could see her talent straight away. She's just so versatile. Keep going. Yes. Good. There's things that she can say with a smirk that I just never thought possible. If you don't love me, then I need to hear you say it because then I won't call and I won't be in your life. Maybe you should speak to a therapist. Mark says that you've been acting strange for a few weeks now. You talk to Mark? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. Have to go. Where? Me call me no matter where you are, no matter how far. Don't worry, baby. Just warm my baby. Tell your friends, aren't you? Okay, bye-bye. Yeah.